Hello there. Welcome to Carstead Partners Packaging Spotlight. Hi, I'm Kevin Carstead of Carstead Partners, and I'm here today with Mike Ferrari of Ferrari Innov Innovation Solutions. And uh, Mike, we, we are digital printing guys, and we've been talking about printing and technologies and all that new stuff. You're headed to, uh, to Label Expo in a couple of weeks. Um, how, you know, just let's just chat for a minute about where we see and how we see Label Expo changing. I mean, the, the landscape has changed um, in the pre-Drupa cycle. What, do you, what are you expecting to see there, and what are some of the things you've heard uh, in the tea leaves or whatever? Well, first, thank you for having me, Kevin. And uh, yes, I, I do think this is going to be a unique uh, uh, expo because here we are post uh, one year post Drupa. So we're going to see some possibly new press releases uh, with regards to incremental changes. Uh, certainly, it's going to be the all digital label expo this year. And uh, there's going to be a, a lot of additional square footage that has been brought on on this conference. So I expect that we're going to go beyond just labels. Yeah. I think this is going to be a packaging expo uh, as much as it is, is a label expo. Yeah, and, I, and I've talked to the Tarsus folks in the past uh, couple of years here, and I know that this is a conscious effort on their part to widen the, uh, widen the net, if you will, to, uh, to more... Uh, um, more more than just labels to flexible packaging and uh, and uh, and folding cartons in particular, um, and, and, and there's there's one kind of component of the digital space that's that's going to be here this time that hasn't been you know that the tons of label there's and there's there's probably twenty or twenty five label manufacturers or companies with label digital label solutions there but there's also going to be the new component of the uh, the, the wider format if you will sheet fed. Uh, digital presses. What do you know about those? And and what are we talking about when we talk about wide format sheet fed presses? That's a good question because uh, wide format can mean many things. Uh, so in this case we're talking about the 30 inch wide uh, presses. Uh, HP Indigo have announced that they're bringing their uh, 20,000 and 30,000 and yeah. their 10,000 uh, all for demonstration and these are 30 inch wide machines uh, that can do uh, webs, that can do uh, sheets uh, and here we're going to see really the first where people are going to be able to go beyond labels and into flexible packaging as well as into folding cartons all at Label Expo under one roof. So I think that's what's going to be new and uh, they're only three to four months away from shipping the very first beta units. Yeah. So this yeah. is now, Kevin, really becoming real. Yeah, it, it's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if some of the other uh, folks with sheet-fed uh, wider form, the B2 presses, as they're, as they're referred to, the 30-inch wide presses, uh, the Fuji films and the screens and that, whether they're going to be showing at, uh, at Label Expo or Packaging Expo, however, however it's going to be referred to in the future. So it would be interesting to, interesting to see. Um, so, so Mike, I mean, you know, you know so we're talking about the, the, the converters and there'll be a lot of converters, but there's a lot of brand owners that walk the floor at Label X and a lot of people that are trying to sort through all this stuff. We that are in the, in it up to our nostrils day in and day out, we, we kind of know what's going on. And even to us, it's confusing. How does a brand owner kind of sort through all this stuff? Well, very interesting. Uh, brand owners are really scrambling at this point in time and whether it's European or U.S., but they need to grow their brands. Uh, the economy has been bad in both regions and mm -hmm. other parts of the world as well. So they're really struggling. So they're looking now, Kevin, more and more for, for new things. Uh, so here I think it's going to play very nicely and dovetail in with all of these new capabilities because it's not only the wide web uh, and wide uh, sheet presses, but also, Kevin, there's been announcements on the narrow web that new capabilities have formed there. Right. So uh, they're, they're going to see a lot of new capability. To me, I think we need to direct brand owners, uh, OEMs, and even printers to where, where are they going to get their information because there's lots of confusing information. How do you enter the uh, business of digital printing? How would you say uh, that? Hey, you, uh, call, you call us, Mike, right? right? You call you, you call me, and... We happen to have this this handy dandy little uh, report that uh, that you were uh, instrumental in creating, and and all joking aside, um, this report is available to brand owners and to others that are looking to understand where digital can play in their in their environment, 
how their supply chain can be made more effective and, and that kind of gives them some some uh, good grounding and understanding where that where that goes and I have to say too one of the things I'm most proud about it is it's unbiased it really doesn't doesn't try to choke anybody with with any one particular brand or uh, um, type of machine or any particular technology it really levels the playing field and I, I really appreciate your help in in developing it Mike and uh, and helping to bring it to the market so people can can look at the uh, the URL here at the bottom and uh, and find out more information I welcome them to call me and uh, and talk about it too so anything well, else you want to talk about Michael Kevin I think the title of the report says it all uh, is digital printing part of your brand or operational strategy Perfect. I think that is the fundamental question and uh, glad to know that uh, there is a place for uh, those folks to go to get additional information great great Mike have a safe trip over there there's a couple of things happening in between uh, that trip and the others. Maybe we can even do an interview while you're there. Thank you, Kevin. Sounds good. Thanks, Mike.